you a hundred bucks, and you're gonna go over to that hall over there, and you're gonna buy as much tie and stuff as you can for your birthday. Is that okay? Is that a deal? And that is a brand new $100 bill, kind of like I got from that guy. <laughs> Look at that, that's awesome, Ty. Let's that's give it up for Ty Dillon, everybody. That was cool. Happy birthday. Keep the extra, too. Buy yourself some more beer. We are back with the ride. We've been away for a little bit of time and it's been good. You know, we need a little, sometimes you need a break from social media and a little bit of a few things to get yourself centered again. Um, but we're back on it. We're, uh, thanks for all the fans who are reaching out, wondering where we were. But we're here in Martinsville. We're ready to go. We got a great new energy and we're heading forward with our life and our career. So here we go. that the Vikings would beat the Saints, so go Vikings. Can I get a selfie with you? So we ended up 26, um, which is improvement on where we've been qualifying. So that, that's something to, I guess, hang our hat on. But uh, this is an impound race, which means we can't change the car from our last lap that we just took there to the race. And we have a, a theory going into the race of how our car is supposed to handle um, and the way we want it. And being able to not adjust, we kind of sacrificed a little bit going into qualifying. So um, with the cooler temperatures, we we're just a little loose. But I feel good about it. I like Martinsville. It's a good track for me. And tomorrow's going to be a fun day. Good race. It's race day here in Martinsville. We got a couple appearances and we got the drivers meeting and then it's time to go win at the paperclip. Oh yeah, I got some more free stuff. Everybody, Mr. Dragon, in the house! My wife is my best friend of my life right now, but actually my best friend that I've known since I've been really little was right here. So we can ask him. This is Jackson Taylor. I'm just proud that he and I have had a lot of ups and downs in our lives together, and we've always relied on each other. Um, he's always been there for me. He moved out after high school and was traveling all around working on pipelines welding. I was traveling all around racing, um, and here we both are at 26, uh, back together, still so spending time together. Uh, so that's pretty valuable to me. He's always been there for me. Whether I was Ty Dillon, who was a little shit getting in trouble at school, or uh, I'm the Ty Dillon right here in front of you guys. He, he don't care. He's just my buddy. Uh, through through. Uh, that's what I appreciate about him. As you enter the driver's meeting, Ty, what are you thinking about? Um, really, it's uh, having the best day I can. Um, whether it's um, just doing, doing the best I can as a person and a driver today. So uh, that's my focus. We're going to have a good day. I love Martinsville. It's beautiful weather today. Um, we're going to try to execute as good as we can. We had a pretty good Geico Camaro in practice. We always have seem to have good quick run speed here early in the run. I think our focus today is if our car 
hangs on the long run, we'll have a successful day and stay out of trouble, like you always talk about in Martinsville, and keep those fenders on it. We're gonna have a solid day. So, Denny, I hear I, I hear there's a there's a, a big leak, big time leak that goes on at your house. So okay. We, we thought this would be really appropriate. So, Goodyear's history in basketball actually is longer than our history at NASCAR, if you can believe it. We started in 1918, which this commemorates. Goodyear's first championship was at the NBL in 1937. And then uh, uh, the, and the NBL was the precursor, along with the Basketball Association of America, for the NBA. So we were actually on the ground floor of the NBA. We didn't make it there, obviously, but we were in AAU, won championships there, and we had on those teams like five guys who worked for Goodyear that were on were gold medal winners for uh, Goodyear basketball or for the United States basketball team. Famous is uh, Larry Brown. He's probably the one that you guys would recognize the most. So. We go a long way back and we sort of rekindled that with our patch on the Cavaliers jersey with LeBron and Kyrie and everyone a few years ago. And this commemorates now from 1918 when we started to uh, now 2018, 100 years of, of Goodyear in, uh, uh, in basketball. We actually gave these jerseys to the Cavs on opening night. So they got them in their locker, they got bags, they got all kinds of throwback stuff to 1918. So these things are actually pretty cool. I don't even have them. So, knowing you guys are playing some big time ball, what we wanted to do is, is get each of you guys this. Denny, I think this one's got your name on the Dollar. back. So, commemorative jerseys, 1918, and you know, you guys, other than the Cavs, are the only ones that have them. So, we hope you enjoy it, and hey, we appreciate your support for good years as well, guys. So, yeah, please you. enjoy it. So, well done. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Finish. Something to be proud of. Another top Stop, 15 man. and uh, proud of our, our effort here at Marksville. So, uh, good way to start the vlog back going. See you guys.